Hello there, welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here on this channel. I do general tarot card readings for all zodiac sign, and in this particular video, we're looking at messages for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So welcome in Taurus. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that you're doing well. Remember that in this reading, there are general messages, and so all the messages may not apply to all of you. So take what applies and the rest let it fly remember to focus your intentions on the cards here so that we can get the best most accurate messages for you taurus while you're here hit that thumbs up button if the messages resonate with you subscribe to my channel and share it with those that you love if the messages do resonate and you'd like further clarifications taurus do check out the description box for more details on um, intimate readings just for you all right so we're going to look at your past future current energy for the next seven days ahead we have the ace of pentacles coming out and i am really not surprised because taurus is money energy working so i feel like money was taking a while to come through for some of you but it is here because the Knight of Pentacles is one that is sure to arrive. So this one is sure to come into you. I don't know if it is an inheritance, a gift, a blessing, something you're receiving through work that you're doing, Taurus. But the, the, the Ace of Pentacles is abundant and it is coming in to, through to you. And this could be you are an abundant person. Like you're already wealthy. You're already wealthy. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, so begin to focus your intentions on the decks, the the cards of past energy, current energy, future energy. So you are definitely a part of this reading. So focus your energies here. Let's get some messages. What's coming? Look, the the Knight of Pentacles repeated again. So something is definitely sure to come through, but it's not manifested yet. You're about to get some kind of a bingo in money. You're about to make some money or receive some money. A new beginning when it comes to your financial stability here, Taurus. Mm -hmm. Let's get started in a few seconds here. We'll pull. We'll take a look at your cards. Now, someone could be watching you, observing your movements, maybe wanting to emulate you, know what it is that you are doing, are wanting to see if you're getting this money. That's the energy with the Knight, with the, the knight of Swords card, Taurus. And that energy is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So if you know anyone with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I feel like this person watches you, observes you, maybe tries to model you, fashion you. All right, so your past energy is... The Five of Swords, for me, the Five of Swords is moving on. Fives represents change. So you want a change. You want to experience maybe new companionships, new relationships, new friendships. Or maybe you want a change in environment. Environment. You know what I'm saying? Some of you are cutting off past connections so that you can move forward. And you have already done so. This is the connection that is watching you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, watching you now somehow, some way. This is also you standing up for what you believe in, having, having boundaries and standards and moving in accordance with what it is that you believe in instead of being hindered or tethered to past relationships that weren't in alignment with you, all right? So you're getting into alignment and people are looking at that. Alignment with your abundance too, possibly Taurus. Let's continue to examine this Five of Swords, past energy. The Eight of Swords, so... There's a feeling with the Eight of Swords of being trapped, of being um, not being able to f get free, and that could be physically or spiritually, or that is emotionally in your mental space, also not feeling free like you can move, right? I feel like this is in your past as if um, you were limited in your mind, as if you are thinking that there's no escape. You're wondering how you're going to get out of a situation, but you're going to see that there's always a way out. There's always a path. There's always a, a something for you to follow, and that could possibly be your intuition. We're seeing water energy here for you. So some of you could be guided by water energy, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. 
right this could be you just trusting in your intuition your emotional guidance sense to know to do what is right to annihilate situations friends relationships circumstances that we're keeping you tethered to experiencing, um, tethered to the past and re-experiencing similar things. I feel like you want something new. Maybe you feel like you weren't um, manifesting, you weren't ascending, your life wasn't growing and developing in the way that you, cho you, you wanted it to. But I'm seeing that things aren't really just taking their time to manifest and come through for you. So you may have been waiting, but it's taking its time. So let's get further clarification. Some of you are really affiliated with Swords Energy okay some of you could be moving on being single like after you move leave out of a connection possibly with a gemini libra aquarius you're going to be single for a while working on yourself some of you have come to your financial independence already maybe have um a stable source of income here this is you powering up to taurus looking good inside and out goku energy using all of that energy to really radiate um your true sense and maybe that is what helps you to be set free, knowing who you are, being confident here. So you can step forward, knowing that you'll not be alone, or even if you're alone, to trust in you being authentic to yourself. And these people are seeing that you're living authentically, and they're watching you to see. They're watching, wondering, how is Taurus, how is Taurus really doing this? How can, he, how can Taurus be so courageous? That is the energy too. How can you be so confident? Let's look at how you are currently feeling, Taurus. All right. Some of you are waiting. I feel like you're expecting something. And it could be this financial stability and abundance. For me, pentacles is not only money, but it's also a sense of self-worth, a sense of self, the way you love, feel yourself, value yourself, your self-value. So when you value yourself, your, your money definitely increases. So I feel like you're waiting on some transformation. Maybe the change in how you feel about yourself. Maybe you're about to change. So there's a change. So maybe you're about to change um, the way you look um, physically, your physical appearance. So there's a change about to take place or is taking place. A transformation in how you carry yourself as if um, some inspiration is coming in through to you. That's causing you to, 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 to have a makeover. Hmm. Knight of Wands, energy, something moving, transforming, as I said, changing, shifting. Maybe it's passion, a new desire. Maybe some of you are disconnecting from a business or disconnecting from a way of thinking, moving away. Some of you may want to relocate or migrate, um, following your desires, following things that you're passionate about, as if um, you're moving with this intensity. Or I feel like this is the energy that you're waiting on even to come through for you and you may not realize because it's going, realize that it is coming because maybe it's taking some time or it's coming from a different source than you expected to. All right, the Knight of Wands energy, that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire energy. So maybe you're really just waiting on something to manifest and it could be this money as if you know it's here for you. And you, I feel like you did something in the past as if this feels like you, you did a job or you did some work and you expect to receive from it so you're waiting to receive so let's get further clarification the magician energy so we're talking about manifesting clear to get clarification i think you're try you're working some energies here that are you're hoping will bring in this money to you as if you're about to clear out any blockages you know, as I said, there's a transformation taking place. This is amazing. The magician energy. I feel like you're about to, you are about to just switch it up so drastically. People are going to see you and not even know. Your life is changing. And I don't feel, it, as if you start making some money now, so you start dressing differently the way you've always wanted to dress, wearing the things you've always wanted to wear. That's the energy. Looking, feeling, smelling. The, your best. Taurus, that's the energy I'm getting. You're about to switch up something with the magician energy here. Some of you could be, I feel, I honestly literally just feel like you could be winning something, literally. It feels like you could be coming into some financial abundance. You're about to receive something. Uh, I, I, it could be through gambling, the lottery, honestly, as if you've been wanting to manifest something and you're about to win as if you win i can feel like you win like you win you win and it's a good amount of money that you you're acquiring too 
honestly that's the energy like you win something and you're about to buy some new clothes or do a makeover honestly taurus i'm not lying and i feel like it comes because you cut you move away from some maybe negative belief patterns here or people that kept you in held you in a certain circle like your circle wasn't really good for you so some of you had to separate and be single be alone for a while to really get to know who you are and to work on your magic your magical um, abilities to create the life that you desire here and here you were waiting you're waiting for some so it's like like I said like you bought that ticket that lottery ticket and you're waiting you you're just you as if you know the numbers are going to play and you're waiting is that energy you are able to focus with the the jack of swords here you're able to focus intently on on on, on manifesting thought like swiftly it's such a powerful energy every time I do Taurus reading I get such powerful energies as if you're a very powerful wise person that knows how to get what you want taurus energy it's earth energy you guys are you guys are good at getting what you want all right let's look at your future energy i know all of you are excited for that as i am <clears throat> all right let's take a look at taurus's future what's coming up what's 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 coming up in taurus's future energy here Thank you for being here. The Queen of Swords. Hmm. So it could be that some, something was coming through. As I said, it, it's coming from a different angle than you expected it to. It's as if you're waiting for someone to come from this direction, but they come from the other direction. As if you're waiting for this money, but it's coming from a different angle. Or something like that. Some of you could be blocking or in defense mode or standing alone, like I said, single, not having a family, uh, really focusing because the, the sword's energy here is really being able to focus even in meditation to manifest, to, to have, to visualize, right? So it could be someone is watching you or it could be like you're, you're good at visualizing straight through the details of the outcome that you want and that helps you to manifest. And it's, that's literally magician energy, being able to focus, to focus on, on creating what it is that you want, visualizing. <clears throat> All right. So let's see what you're focusing on, what you're manifesting. And we already know, but let's continue. Look, we have the seven of pentacles, like you're waiting. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are six. Maybe you're waiting. This is. As literally, I'm telling you, if you bought the a lot of ticket or something, it may pay off. I don't want to sound misleading, but I feel like you're waiting, you're focusing on what's to come. And with the pentacles, the seven of pentacles, it's something that is in the ground, as if you put in your order and you're waiting to receive. You put in your order. And you're waiting for it to come out. And I feel like when these come out, it's going to come out as if it's coming out of a slot machine. A slot machine? Where the money just, the coins just spew out. You're about to win something. That's, I swear, I feel like. You're about to win something and it could be unexpected. It could be unexpected. But it's going to change your life. This, It's going to change your financial life and your confidence as a person, your self-worth, your value, your self-esteem. You're going to be looking, feeling differently, Taurus. <clears throat> right, let's continue to clarify. We have the three of wands. So some, the three of wands is someone that's waiting, looking, maybe not expecting, but observing what it is that they already have manifested here. Like you're observing what it is that you've created. And I feel like this is also within your spirit your your energetical space where you're keeping your dreams alive you're focusing on what you want to manifest you know you know that vortex energy where all the things that you you dream of creating and doing within your future things that you wish to manifest you're holding them there as if you continue you visualize them and you keep it within your energy and that's how manifestation works. So some of you are definitely working with the law of attraction to focus, uh, to bring in some, some winnings here. All right. <clears throat> Focusing on your ships and all that you've um, manifested within your energetic space. It's about to bring them out. 
out in physical form the devil energy there don't pay that any attention the world card at the bottom of the deck could be an opportunity to travel to move forward to bring something different within your world taurus i'm going to leave your reading here strength card magician energy once more wheel of fortune so whatever happened in the past where you had to leave some connection that was something that was fortunate it was meant to happen that way let's look all right so we're going to um this card here i was going to shuffle but i'm not so we're looking king king two look there's a union between all right so we the king of wands is that which the one that can manifest is that magician energy for me as well one that works with the elements knows magic is able to focus and garner like hold the dream within their space the vision one that is able to visualize say so moving from the three of ones to the king of wands so you're a master creator that's the energy being a master creator with the king of wands and then the king of pentacles is one who is abundant so you see this pentacles energy coming into you with the knight of pentacles and then you arrive at the king of pentacles you're about to be this abundant person you're about to be known as wealthy listen we have the two of cups so it could be union between two people an earth sign and a fire sign aries leo sagittarius some of you are in love moving past a connection with uh, uh, a swords energy aries leo sagittarius and moving into a connection with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius all right and this could be you aligning with your sense of business aligning with your visions and your dreams and really acting in accordance to how you think and feel about yourself i think this is so beautiful for you abundance like listen my 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 paypal is in the description box okay um send me send me some of that money that you win if it is enough to share i feel like if you buy six numbers i see six six plus one is seven but i feel like it's six num. it's a six digit gamble or a six figure gamble so maybe you could be winning millions all right i'm telling you so remember that my paypal is in the description box below this video and um you can drop me a couple thousands all right because you know you got to tip the tarot reader right please do so taras it's not good i don't i don't feel it's far in your future as well it's about your your focus ability to bring this into manifestation so keep at it hey let me continue to encourage you if you're focusing on, on trying to win a lot or win big with the magician energy here, just keep at it. Keep focusing on doing your law of attraction, your law of attraction techniques. And look at this. It's coming in for you. So thank you so much for watching. Um, a pleasure doing this reading for you, Taurus. I know my energy is not all excited. And there's a reason for that. But it's a very beautiful reading from the get-go. I love doing your reading stars, all right? So remember that uh, on your way out, if these messages resonate with you, do go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. These thumbs up, give this video a thumbs up because they make, they make me very happy, all right? And um, it's very helpful for my channel's growth. Also, share this video with those that you love in case you're not a Taurus and you know someone that's a Taurus and you want to share this message of hope with them. Go ahead and share this video, this video out there with those that you love. Hit the subscribe button to be notified whenever I upload new content for you, Taurus. Other ways that you can support my channel can be found in the description box below this video. If you want an intimate reading just for you, Taurus, details for that also found in the description box. And I'll catch you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Remember that you can be, do, have everything and anything in this world that you desire. Because you are all and all is within you, Taurus. Much love. Namaste.